Yes, hello and good afternoon or good evening to wherever you're sitting. Um, my name is Karak Ritz and I'm working at the Department of Geography and Regional Research in Cartography and Geoinformation. And I'd like to take you on a short journey through my neck of the woods, um, connecting communication and design. So is it contradictory or do we need it? Um, communication is more or less about exchanging, expressing and conveying information. So we do this more or less with um, various ways of perception. Design, and in specific map design, is about um, using design principles. And in a way, aesthetics and functionality come together. So when we think about design, uh, we think about architecture in a way. Now, this is maybe known to most of you, Notre Dame, and beautiful harmony and, and various other aspects. But if you have a closer look at it, um, the architect did have a few problems. If you look at the left portal and the right portal, they're a little different, but I mean, that's part of the game, I guess. Now, if we talk about geography and, and in specific about mapping, then we have um, different ways of doing this. Now, how does our mind work in this sense? Now, we have various um, rules and ways of doing this. Now, if we read this, um, this message serves to prove how our minds can do amazing things, impressive things. In the beginning, it was hard, but now this line, your mind is reading it automatically without even thinking about it. Be proud. Only certain people can read this. So, I mean, how does this work? This is cartography. This is communication. Now, let's look at a map. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this map, and I'm sure you kind of associate something maybe political or um, some kind of a question. Now, if we look at the legend when we combine it, this is more or less depicting tweets um, where beer has more um, come more often, it's in blue, and red is in church. So it does, in a way, coincide maybe with the political situation, but on the other side, it's very unexpected. So is this good or bad? Now, um, I'm trying to understand what good or bad maps are and how design comes into, into this place. So um, we try to communicate it in a certain way. And if you've ever been to Austria, um, see, sometimes you get lost in translation in a way. So we have cars running around here or driving around that um, you know, promote bad design. Well, if you know German, it doesn't mean bad, it means something else. So it's about understanding and designing and communicating. Another uh, interesting aspect, uh, this was an, um, an exhibition at the Modern um, uh, uh, um, Science um, Department, and uh, Sagmeister is an is a artist who I contacted and asked him, why do you use this projection? I mean, a Mercator projection is not the best about how happy the world is. This is a translation. And I also asked him, well, um, have you ever asked the Icelanders and the Greenlanders if they are happy at all? And I was a little irritated. So if I bring it down to a point, what is good? And I'm sure you're pretty familiar with this. Um, this is the Yosemite National Park, really great place, um, drawn by um, Heinrich Berland. This is, from my perspective, a perfect map. However, does it work? There's, the geometry is completely wrong in this way. And I met him, and it was interesting to see how he perceived this. So from this point of view, I'm um, interested to see how you see this contradiction or necessity. Thank you for your attention.